Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to tackle an exciting topic. Subtraction with regrouping. Can anyone tell me what subtraction means? It's taking away. It's finding out how much is left. Exactly. Now, sometimes when we subtract, we have to regroup. Does anyone know what that means? It's when we borrow from another number. That's right. When we need to borrow because the top number is smaller than the bottom number, we regroup. Let's see how it works with an example. First, let's look at the ones place. We have 3 minus 9. Can we do that? No, 3 is smaller than 9. Exactly. So, we need to regroup. Let's look at the 5 in the tens place. We'll borrow one ten from the five, which makes it a four, and we'll add that ten to the three in the ones place. So, what does that make? It makes it thirteen. Right. Now we have thirteen in the ones place. Let's do the subtraction. Thirteen minus nine. What do we get? Four. Great job. Now let's move to the tens place. We have four minus two. What is that? That's two. Fantastic! So, 53 minus 29 equals... 24. 24. 24. Well done, everyone. Now, let's practice together. I want each of you to try this one. 84 to 37. First, look at the ones place. Can we subtract 4 minus 7? No, we need to regroup. That's right. So, let's borrow from the 8 in the tens place. What does that make the 8? It becomes 7. Exactly. And what do we add to the 4 in the ones place? We add 10, so it becomes 14. Great. Now let's subtract. 14 minus 7. What do we get? That's 7. Awesome. Now, let's go to the tens place. 7 minus 3. What do we get? That's 4. Yes. So, what is 84 minus 37? 47. 47. 47. Perfect. You're all doing amazing. Let's do one more together. How about 72 to 48? Can we subtract 2 minus 8? No, we need to regroup. Right. So, we'll borrow from the 7 in the tens place. What does that change the 7 to? It becomes 6. And what do we add to the 2 in the ones place? We add 10, so it becomes 12. Excellent. Now let's subtract 12 minus 8. That's 4. Fantastic. Now for the tens place, 6 minus 4. That's 2. So, What's our final answer? 24. 24. 24. You all did an incredible job today. Remember, regrouping helps us when we need to borrow. Let's say it together. Subtraction with regrouping. Subtraction, Subtraction, with, Subtraction with, regrouping. with regrouping. Great. Keep practicing, and you'll be subtraction experts in no time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.